Those who divorce aren't necessarily the most unhappy, just those neatly able to believe their misery is caused by one other person. A divorce is like an amputation, you survive it, but there's less of you. When two people decide to get a divorce, it isn't a sign that they don't understand one another, but a sign that they have, at least, begun to. Divorce isn't such a tragedy. A tragedy staying in an unhappy marriage, teaching your children the wrong things about love. Nobody ever died of divorce. Divorce is a declaration of independence with only two signers. Divorce is a 50 to 50 thing, and it can be a number of petty things that finally drive you out of your mind. The difference between a divorce and a legal separation is that a legal separation gives a husband time to hide his money. In every marriage more than a week old, there are grounds for divorce. The trick is to find and continue to find grounds for marriage. It takes two to destroy a marriage. If you made a list of reasons why any couple got married, and another list of the reasons for their divorce, you'd have a hell of a lot of overlapping. Divorce is one of the most financially traumatic things you can go through. Money spent on getting mad or getting even is money wasted. Divorce is the one human tragedy that reduces everything to cash. You know why divorces are so expensive? Because they're worth it. Heartbreak is a loss. Divorce is a piece of paper. You never really know a man until you have divorced him. Do not look for healing at the feet of those who broke you. Don't spend time beating on a wall, hoping it will transform into a door. It is better to light a candle than curse the darkness. It always gets worse before it can get better. But it will get better. Like everything else, and like our past struggles, at some point we win, but before that win, there's always that loss that spurs us on. When people divorce, it's always such a tragedy. At the same time, if people stay together it can be even worse. Freeing yourself was one thing, claiming ownership of that freed self was another. I have not ceased being fearful, but I have ceased to let fear control me. Only I can change my life. No one can do it for me. Divorce can be on your terms. Perhaps sometimes reminding ourselves that we do have a choice makes it easier to pick the harder one. The process of discovering with somebody that you love that you don't work is so painful. Life becomes easier when you learn to accept an apology you never got. Taking a thing apart is always faster than putting something together. This is true of everything except marriage. Divorce, the end of an error. If someone you once had sex with rejects you again, it means your value was underestimated. Nobody rejects what they truly need. You cannot start the next chapter of your life if you keep rereading the last one. A successful marriage requires falling in love many times, always with the same person. 
We loved with a love that was more than love. A great marriage is not when the perfect couple comes together. It is when an imperfect couple learns to enjoy their differences. There is no more lovely, friendly, and charming relationship, communion or company than a good marriage. When marrying, ask yourself this question, do you believe that you will be able to converse well with this person into your old age? Everything else in marriage is transitory. A happy marriage is a long conversation which always seems too short. The secret of a happy marriage is finding the right person. You know they're right if you love to be with them all the time. The highest happiness on earth is marriage. I love being married. It's so great to find that one special person you want to annoy for the rest of your life. If life were predictable it would cease to be life, and be without flavor. If you look at what you have in life, you'll always have more. If you look at what you don't have in life, you'll never have enough. Life is what happens when you're busy making other plans. When you reach the end of your rope, tie a knot in it and hang on. Always remember that you are absolutely unique. Just like everyone else. The future belongs to those who believe in the beauty of their dreams. The best and most beautiful things in the world cannot be seen or even touched, they must be felt with the heart. Live life to the fullest and focus on the positive. When things go wrong, don't go with them. Instead of worrying about what you cannot control, shift your energy to what you can create. Live the life of your dreams, be brave enough to live the life of your dreams according to your vision and purpose instead of the expectations and opinions of others. Believe in yourself. You are braver than you think, more talented than you know, and capable of more than you imagine. It's only after you've stepped outside your comfort zone that you begin to change, grow, and transform. You cannot control the behavior of others, but you can always choose how you respond to it. Life becomes easier and more beautiful when we can see the good in other people. If you want to be happy, do not dwell in the past, do not worry about the future, focus on living fully in the present. Life isn't about finding yourself. Life is about creating yourself. Nothing in life is to be feared, it is only to be understood. Now is the time to understand more, so that we may fear less. Life is too short for long-term grudges. Don't go through life, grow through life.